Next up on the list of things to do is to build the centerboard box. I'm just using a leftover 6mm ply. We'll form the bulk of the sides with a lot of framing in the mahogany. So uh, I'm just going to rip this down. It is a bit of a tapered box in that the top is narrower than the bottom. The bottom looks to be needing to be at least 20 inches wide and I get two pieces out of this for both sides. Be, uh, around 13 inches tall but I'm going to make it a bit higher. I want to make sure that it fits perfectly under the uh, center thwart. So we'll start with uh, 13 and a bit. <coughs> and once I build it I can trim down the top of it to the right height. Basically we're going to have something like this. This is going to fit inside there. This is going to go in on somewhat of an angle. Not quite sure what that is yet. Let's just do that for now. Like I've just had cut these three quarters, three quarters square, which are the uh, bracing at the bottom. One will sit on the bottom of the boat. The other, on the other side, will sit on top of the on top of the hog or keelson. But I've cut them too short. I think on these top rails, I'm going to notch it in, dado it in, so that it actually fits over top of the plywood. Nobody wants to see the top of that plywood. Not to mention the end grain is susceptible to sucking up wood, so I'm going to take these off and cut a 6 millimeter notch. It's going to be very thin, mind you, maybe an eighth of an inch thick by overlapping the end of the plywood. just need to figure out what is the angle of that inside bracing inside there. Opening needs to be at minimum 11 inches. So you're talking coming back here on that angle from the full 20 at the bottom on an angle up in there like that. So this uh, bracing inside is not going to be long enough and I'm honestly not sure why the box for the center board is not just straight down. Why when the board is in there, like so, is there this massive opening down the bottom here? Unless it's not, unless it's blocked in on the bottom. Unless it's for pulling the dagger board out, you're able to tip it like so, as it comes out, I suppose. But I don't know when you're going to be able to tip it. 
Okay. I'll have to ponder that one. So the top opening is to be 12 inches. that in place should be able to just trace the angle on there I've moved my internal bracing back half an inch this portion will be under the center thwart but it also then calls for a little tiny piece of bracing across here I guess just to I don't think I really need it but uh, we'll put her in anyways and then there'll be a cap on the end here and uh, I'm gonna recess in and cut this a bit short and put a piece in here just so I'm not looking at end grain said so this end grain won't be seen it'll be under the seat and this will get cut short so maybe we can do that now just need a little piece like that a little high but I'm gonna Line that down. And then there is an end cap, but this piece is not wide enough. I have to go rip another piece to be uh, two and a half. So for the box to sit vertical, we've got that slope in the bottom of the boat here, plus the fillets in the bottom. So. By my calculation, that's sort of the angle that the bottom needs to be beveled. So I'm thinking probably the best way to do this is to actually glue the box together. Sans this piece here, we don't need that. I can glue, I won't even glue the top. I'll just glue the uh, end supports, internal bracing and then take it to the band saw, cut it, or I mean the, the table saw, cut it at that angle easily enough so that this can sit relatively upright, contacting the planking and pretty close to the bottom. And then I'm going to have to probably take a router, I suppose, be the simplest, and round over this bottom corner here to accommodate for the fillet. So, you know, in hindsight, I probably could have stopped filleting up to here or not fill it at all until now. Still seems like this angle is a bit long in that. And this is sitting in the bottom of the boat here. And so the seat is not going to come to that point. So I'm going to have to change the angle on that. So to calculate where this angle needs to come down to, see that its widest part is eight inches, center's four, frame's one inch, so in a half a side of center, so three and a half inches. So from this point here, which we want to be under the seat, to there is three and a half inches. So we need to come from that point there to three and a half inches down here. That's the angle. This needs to be a little bit more cute.
All right, I think I'm about ready to glue some pieces together. I'm gonna brush the inside of that and the back side of this. I mean, I'm gonna to need to add some more epoxy to the inside here. So I'm actually going to glue on one side, epoxy coat it all, epoxy coat the other panel, and then glue it on. Now I think all I'm going to do is just put some weight on there, sliding around a bit. And we'll let that set. It's a fast hardener, should set pretty quickly. Prior to completely assembling the uh, daggerboard box, I've coated the inside of all the plywood and all the pieces with a couple of coats of epoxy. I'm going to sand that smooth and then I will uh, probably add another coat of epoxy and then we'll be ready to put it together. Never going to get inside there after the fact. All right, it looks a little rough right now, a little bit of sanding, but uh, I did trim the bottom of it on a slight bevel to match the uh, planking in the bottom of the hull. There's a bit of cleanup here to go. There's a cap that's going to go on the end here. Everything will be trimmed down. But really what I'm looking for is the right height. And it appears that, you know, with a tiny bit of shaving here and there, this will go forward right to the frame and uh, we'll get it vertical and all we're coming close to there now there is going to be a slight little half inch wide cap on there this is 12 and a half inch opening and I really only need 12 so I think we're getting pretty close with that done <clears throat> I should be able to uh, glue on the framing that goes in the bottom here so again, I can trim that to the same angle so it sits flush against there and it's the bottom of the boat. And on this side, it sits on top of the keelson and gets glued in there with fillets. So I need two of these, one cut at a slight angle. So because I dadoed this and fit it over top of the planking, it's a little bit thinner on the inside edge here for the uh, cap on the end, which means I just need to trim this down ever so slightly because uh, it's going to be a little thicker than that piece there. So I'm just going to quickly do a quick measure. A hair over a half an inch. So we're going to trim down this block and the other one so there's a hair under half an inch. So as much as the log on the other side actually won't be glued on there because it'll be up here sitting on top of the uh, keelson. I'm kind of liking the idea that maybe, you know, we Trim off here, trim off the bottom there with the bevel, and then uh, I'm going to mark there and there, and on the other side, and then kind of put sort of an hourglass type of figure in there a little bit, just, just trimming away, give it a little bit of feature because otherwise it's just going to be sticking out as it sits in the boat. 
on both sides flush with the top bracing and bottom bracing. So what kind of figure? I did a, I did a line down there. And then just use something with a bit of a curve to it. I need to put the uh, box in the boat to determine where because it's not it's not uh, perpendicular across there parallel across there on the uh, starboard side due to the fact that the bracing sitting up on top of the keelson I don't know I think I'm more inclined to just actually bring this flush so we're going to draw that line and the other side So all of this gets removed. So with the log on the bottom on the port side sitting there that is where that one will end. So then we will draw the curvature here. Where's that scrap? So all this gets removed. There's a bit of a 90 degrees there, then a bit of a slope, then up over the keelson around the framing and then the curvature. So then that's going to sit on there like so. We can do a little trimming. It's probably best to do a little trimming after it's on. So I don't think I'm going to glue this one on yet. I'm going to glue that one on when it sits in the boat. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right. I'm going to glue this uh, end cap on and clean it up tomorrow. I do believe enough weight will be sufficient enough. I'm just concerned if I try to clamp it. It's just, it slides around a lot when you're clamping. So and just pump this out a bit. That way. We've got a little bit of overhang all sides for me to shape down. I can probably take a uh, sander and router into there and clean up those edges. Yep, I think that's good. I've now got uh, two coats of epoxy all over all of the wood, sealing everything up. It's a bit rough. It's going to be a lot easier to sand it now. So uh, in preparation for, I believe we're going to be painting this area and all the mahogany will be uh, bright work. So rather than reaching over inside the boat to sand it, it's going to be easier to do that now. Well, it's about time to install this uh, daggerboard box. I have leveled the boat up from side to side using a level right across the gunnels. And then when I glue this in, I can clamp it in place across the thwart 
and uh, use a small little torpedo level to sort out, making sure that it is uh, vertical. Before I glue this in, it's probably going to be best to drill a couple of small pilot holes through the underside here so I can lo locate exactly where the opening is and use my router with a bead cutting, uh, flush cutting bit to trim all around the edges of the inside of the box. That the opening is going to be somewhere from there to there along that center line there. So we just kind of do a quick joining of those two points. slathered a whole bunch of thickened epoxy on the inside rails, the bottom. I know some is going to squeeze into the opening, but that will come off. When now I will be running fillets all around the edges at a later date, so right now I'm just going to clean out, clean up all the squeeze out. So I think we'll stop it there on this episode of making the uh, centerboard or daggerboard box and installing it. Uh, next couple of episodes we'll get into actually making the daggerboard and the rudder and tiller parts. So thank you very much for watching and uh, do consider becoming a subscriber or at least give me a thumbs up and a like. Maybe share it with someone that uh, you know who might be interested in watching this video series. See you next time.